Hello, everyone, and welcome to Podcast Nine and Three Quarters, a Potter podcast. I'm your host, the Half Blood Princess. Today, I'm going to cover how Fantastic Beast Four needs to better explain Nagini's story. But before I get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. The crimes of Grindelwald completely altered Nagini's character from the original series when it revealed that she used to be a woman who was cursed to someday remain trapped in the form of a snake. Fantastic Beasts 2 portrayed Nagini as being against dark magic because of her past, and she was heartbroken when Credence decided to leave her to join Grindelwald's cult. Yet, after this abrupt parting, Fantastic Beast 3 included no mention of where Nagini had gone, leaving many gaping holes in her story. Fantastic Beast 4 needs to better serve Nagini by offering some sort of explanation for how she might eventually find herself aligning with Lord Voldemort. Because of Nagini's characterization in The Crimes of Grindelwald, it makes no sense why she would ever support another dark wizard like Voldemort. It was also strange that Nagini was missing from Fantastic Beast 3, considering how important she had been in the last film as Credence's only real friend. Credence oddly never appeared to miss her or spare even a moment to wonder what may have become of someone so close to him. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.